What does TEV stand for? TEV stands for Transient Earth Voltage. And from my perspective, that's a detection method. The idea comes from John Reeves. Uh, he's from England and I think in 1974, the first time he mentioned that. And the idea is if I have a partial discharge, for example, in a switch gear um, or close to cables and I have a cable box and this is made out of metal, I will be able to sense the partial discharges or the signals on the outside because it couples into the metal cable box or switch gear. So example given, I'm going to a substation and I want to open one of these boxes and I want to be sure that everything is fine in there. Or I just want to figure out if I have any problems in my substation and I have multiple compartments where I have cables coming up. So here's a photo. So you get in a substation and you're having these metal compartments. And in these metal compartments, you usually have your median voltage cables. Very often three because we have a three phase system and then they are usually connected to some kind of a bus bar or to a switching device. So I've tried to draw one of these cable boxes or compartments here. Let's leave away the switching part. Let's say this is just a cable box where my four cables end. And now if I'm coming here, this is me, right? I'm coming to the cable box and I want to open it because I want to look inside. It would be really cool to know if there's partial discharge inside or not. There are certain reasons why partial discharge, but it could be interesting for me because there are very rare cases where this actually triggered an explosion if there's too much, much oxygen going in there. But let's say for now I want to know are there partial discharges in and or not because if there are, maybe I don't want to open it. So let's say I have a partial discharge on my end termination. So this is supposed to be the end termination. And this is creating an electromagnetic signal. Actually, this is, this is round, right? But I'm only caring about this part. And now it hits my metal casing. And I will have a small spike, a transient earth voltage, which I could pick up if I have a sensor here. So I could place a sensor here. They are usually capacitive sensors and there are quite a couple of manufacturers who produce them already with a magnet on it. So you put that on and um, you have a cable and then you have a device, your measuring instrument, and then you can see if they, you sense any partial discharge or not. Sometimes they work in the high mega or in the megahertz range, usually not where the IEC 60 to 70 would expect you to measure, but there are two, three megahertz, they're usually starting. Sometimes they go up to 50, 70, sometimes even 100. And that gives you a possibility to figure out are there partial discharges or not. From my perspective, once again, I believe it's a detection method, more or less, because you can't really calibrate. However, if you know your setup, you could create, you could put a, a, a calibrator here and make sure it radiates properly, and then you have an idea. So if I own a substation and I want to know that, and I would make an experiment and say, okay, what happens if I have a big partial discharge on my end termination? How would my TEV, my transient earth voltage sensor, pick that up? Then you have at least a sensitivity check, right? So you can place multiple ones there, you can do monitoring. So I think it's a pretty good idea to do that. However, I put it in the area of detection. I have read, I haven't used these things to be honest, I have read that sometimes you're even able to draw a diagram uh, or a PRPD diagram and e even have an idea on where the partial discharges are. This being said, you would need to get the voltage. You probably won't, or at least it's not so easy. Very often you get a current to ground, so there will be a small phase shift here. But you know what? This is not so important. I mean, if I'm getting there and my voltage, my voltage looks like this, I believe this is my voltage, and then I have then I have something which is here, then I probably say, oh, look, that looks like a corona. I don't really know if it's on ground or on high voltage. Could be either, either of them, right? And I do not know the phase shift I have right now, but I'm quite sure I do have a partial discharge in there. So it's a detection method. If I missed too many information about TV sensors, I'm very happy if you contact me and I'm going to do a a more sophisticated video. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon.